Hello, this is Nikki Zick from Nikki Zick Paints, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about mixed media, and I did two projects before coming online to show you uh, different variations of using the mixed media of crayons with your watercolors. These are very old, they're like ancient, and were given to me by my uncle, but they still work fabulous. So we'll keep those ready to go. And here's a postcard I did. If you could see closely the details, while it was wet on wet, the I used the crayon and it slowly bleeds into the colors of that you have painted. So that's one postcard. And then I did, of course, the floral. And here you could see I also did the iridescent paint to give it more sparkle. But again, you could see more clearly because it's larger. I did the, the light blue and then I went in with a dark purple blue and as the paint was wet and I drew onto the color blue it bled into the blue lovely I did the same thing here with the green leaf and here's a smaller blue flower and then I did a lovely blue wash that turns into purple I'm overdoing a solid color background and I never want to see a white background anymore except in a situation like this although I could fill it in with green wash but I'm not going to do that because the white on this is refreshing. So today we're going to do this floral postcard. I have a brand new Academy pad from Timu ready to go. Five by seven. We'll start. We're ready to go. Brand new. Actually, it's a little bit we'll go like this. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the blue flowers. I'm using round brushes today, and actually, they're, I'm going to use the largest one I have right now. Well, not the largest, largest. And I'm going to make my paint nice and wet with a lot of water. And I'm going to go into the one large petal. I'm not really sure which kind of a flower this is, but it's a flower. I'm going to keep it center. It's got five petals. Keep the center open so we can add the yellow later. Add some more water. You can make this a little bigger. I'm making it a little bit larger than my original. So you can see how it looks when I go in. Now I'm going into with the crayon. And I'm going to go into the center first and draw some lines. And I'm going to go into the outer edge and do a curly line. Center lines. Outer edge curly. A few center. And then the outer edge curly. Center lines. And then outer edge curly. You can go off the paper. And then we're going to add some yellow center with a smaller brush. I'm using a golden yellow. Try not to touch your blue so it doesn't bleed. And then I'm going to go in with an orange crayon. These are a neon color set of crayons, so they're nice and bright. Okay, then we're going to go into the smaller flower with a medium-sized round brush. And we'll put it over here, growing underneath its mother flower. Make the five petals, leaving the center open. Make them a little larger. Okay, then we're going to go into the dark blue crayon. Again, the center. Ruffle the edge. Do the ruffle edge first. Just a few lines to indicate the center of the flower. We're going to add the golden yellow once again. The process of this card is rather quick and it's wet on wet technique so that's why i'm moving faster than usual in you know, my videos okay now we're going to go into the green leaves with a medium-sized round brush we're going to go into the stem and this stem here a little more water make a wide leaf here you can fill it in with paint and water but the more transparent I like it, the better. Transparent the stem a little more. 
and the little junior flower will have a leaf here. Add some more water to the leaf. Let it blend out. Okay, now we're going to get our dark green crayon. And we'll do a ruffle edge on the green leaf. We'll go down the stem. We'll go down the stem on the small one. Ruffle edge on the green leaf. Go down the center of the stem. Ruffle edge. You can add a few indication of veins on the leaf. Okay, our crayons are done. Now we're going to focus on the background. I have my large round brush. And for this, we're going to do a wet on wet technique. So I'm going to wet the top edge of my paper. Make it nice and wet. Be careful of not touching the flowers because they will bleed. This is all crayon watercolor. I'm going to add first some dark purple to the corner and you watch it bleed into the top keep it concentrated in the corner and pull it down go into the crevices of your flowers with the purple you can add a little more go inside you could add more water to dilute it if it's too dark for you you touch the leaves a little, the petals, if you want, and the leaves, if you want to blur them out a bit, which is nice. See, I'll blend this a little. Okay, we'll finish coming down the edge with the purple. Blending it down. Okay, then we're going to work on the upper left, make it wet, but now we're going to add a nice aqua blue, more concentrated in the corner, and then we'll pull down, blending it into the purple at the top of the flower, going around the flower, and see how I touched that blue edge, and now that blue crayon is coming into my background and it looks really pretty I think here we'll go into the blue edge and pull it down into the leaf so we have that it just gives a lot of added interest okay we're gonna make the bottom of the paper wet to add more of the aqua blue we'll touch the green leaves pull out some of the green here more water and then the aqua blue Okay, I see a little bit of a hole at the top. Maybe here. Go in the corner, in the center of my flowers. Okay, now we're going to add some iridescent paint just here and there. As you can see in my original, I have it in the flower petals, the stem, the center got washed out, but the Stem and petals, you could definitely see. I love it. It's really a nice added touch. So let's go into the light. I have a light blue and a dark blue iridescent, but I'm going to go with the light because it pops off the darker color better. And just do a little swish here and there of the iridescent. You don't want to fill the whole petal. You just want to give highlights of the iridescent. Do it on the large flower, on the small flower a little bit here and there. Okay, now we're going to, there's a yellow. Let's try the lemon yellow. Maybe that's the problem. I used the wrong yellow to give it a shine and sparkle. Make it nice and creamy and mesmerizing in the pan. And add some mica here and here. A yellow might be better and then I have a, two greens and we're going to go to the green that's more blue because that's the green that I have here and go down the stem 
and hit or miss the edge. Don't paint the whole leaf with your iridescent, just accent. It's here and there because it'll take away. So there you have it. We have our mixed media floral postcard with the iridescent. It's still wet, but as you can see from the other. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. Once again, this is Nikki Zick from Nikki Zick Paints. And I hope you have a nice night. Bye-bye.